Okay, welcome to day three of designing your freedom schedule. So yesterday we talked about values. Super important to know what's important to you. Now we're going to look at how those things actually play out in your day-to-day by looking at your life roles. So we all have so many different life roles that we play. For instance, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a sister. I'm a daughter. I am the leader of a Bible study. I am the wife of a pastor. Um, That We have tons of different roles that we play. And so it's important to identify what those roles are and exactly what are the things that those roles require of us because those are the things that take up all of our time during the day. And so what you're going to do is you are going to make a list of life roles. First, define as specifically as possible all the different roles that you have. When it comes to your business, you might be a consultant, but you also might be a team leader um, or in a leadership capacity. Those are different things because they require different things of you. Um, So really break down those roles as specifically as possible. I'm going to give you a little example in the comments of some of mine, um, but it's not all exclusive. Then as you break down what those roles entail. For instance, one of mine, I call myself a household CEO. Um, There are tons of things that occupy my time um, in my own home, everything from doing laundry to doing the cat box to being our meal planner and our personal chef. Um, So as you define all of those specific life roles, you want to get as clear as possible. And this is where it's really important to try to have somebody else look at this list too, um, because inevitably you are going to leave things out. And that is the key to causing stress in your schedule because there's things that have to be done. And if you don't make time for them, that's where the stress comes in. That's what we're getting away from. So you want to be as specific as possible, thinking about every little thing that can occupy your time as a result of one of these roles that you play. So then as you go through and you've got your really detailed list of roles, I want you to go back. And as we did on day one, we made that thrive and survive column. Note next to these roles and to these activities activities. Which ones are things that you thrive on, that you love? Which ones might be one that you don't mind so much? Um, And which ones are ones that you just really don't want there anymore? Um, And this is great if you like those colored gel pens. Um, Find a way to categorize them so you can see at a glance um, what compromises your life. And if it's not um, all a lot of the thrive ones, then we got to make some changes. Um, Looking at the ones that maybe you're just tolerating and putting up with. We want to figure out, can we dump those and just get rid of them altogether? Could we delegate them to someone else? Or can we defer them? Do they don't have, maybe they don't have to be done as regularly as we've been doing them. Um, So here's a couple of examples. For me, we, my husband and I, we looked at this household CEO and realized there are two of us. So that does not all fall on my shoulders. It doesn't fall on his. I feel like I was pregnant and nursing forever with three babies. Um, And so the cat box just became something that was off my radar because you can't do that when you're pregnant. So I don't ever think about it now, and it's really been hard for me to get back into that. So that's something that my husband always does. He does the cat box. When it comes to mowing our lawn, he has really bad allergies. So you know what? That's always on me. Um, So I never have to worry about the cat box, but I do focus on the lawn, um, and I get the whole winter off. Yay! Um, So as you divide up some of these tasks, it becomes really freeing of things that you don't have to worry about. I make the meal plan every every, day. I do it in a month, but I don't like to cook really. My husband's awesome at it. So I make the meal plan and boom, I forget about it. And I don't ever stress about what's for dinner because that's his job. Um, So not to say that's going to be your husband or your dynamic, but look at what your dynamic is. Um, And these conversations that you have with people can be really powerful because my husband loves to cook. It's a huge stressor on him to plan. Um, And so we are actually finding more joy and fulfillment in our relationship because we're each doing things that we love. Now that my kids are getting a little bit older, maybe you have young kids and they can't help out as much, but what are the things that they can do? And as they get older, dinner cleanup time is now a family activity for us, um, which falls on me. I'm the cleanup, um, but I do it with my girls and my husband gets quality time with our son because he's just a little too little right now to help out with that. Um, So as you look at all of these specifics, this is where it's really important to go through them with someone, um, with your family, whoever is in your immediate um, day-to-day 
that you spend time with? Um, who can you delegate this stuff to? Uh, maybe you're, there's things you're going to hire out. Maybe you hate the lawn and you want to hire someone to mow it, um, you know, for 10 bucks an hour. What, think of the value you're going to get back and freeing up that time in your schedule. Um, so this part of the process can take you a little bit of time. It's not going to be um, super quick and easy, but it's important to kind of look at it and relook at it and keep talking about it as with all these steps. So as you make your list and get as detailed as possible, I want you to post it below so that we can help you really get clear and specific on those. If you're color coding to which ones you're um, just tolerating, which ones you're thriving on, um, we want to see that too. You might post most of, multiple times in this post as you evolve this and work on it. So we are here to help you and support you. So can't wait to see what you come up with. Can't wait for you to watch what other people come up with because they may trigger something in you that um, could add to the more specificness of your list. So awesome day ahead of you. Good luck.